we've seen in our program uh, and touch on some of the items such as molecular switches and, and some simple amide uh, compounds here, whether it be the pyridine or the phenyl amide. You make a, a number of, of libraries, whether it be sort of the left hand or the right hand chemistries here. So if you're a chemist, you might be interested. So evidence for multiple allosteric binding sites interactions with the neutral allosteric ligand. And this is a competitive, sort of a, a graph of a competitive, and this is the shield regression. And in this uh, scheme, you have the representation of uh, 384 plate coming from this uh, screening effort. So you can see or hardly see uh, the typical kind of a trace of the triple addition. Yeah, what so we call the, the stimulus dependency. And this is what we uh, are referring to as the context dependent pharmacology number one. So there are multiple context dependent pharmacology which are uh, uh, difference in the, the condition of the, the test that can uh, differ the outcome of the, the functional characterization. I think it's good that we uh, uh, begin on the same page. So I begin with some general information about G-protein coupled receptors. As you know, they are members of a superfamily that uh, includes participants that uh, have a number of physiological functions. The GPCRs bind a variety of ligands. So for example, um, the biogenic amines, epinephrine, dopamine, histamine, bind their res uh, respective receptor. Also, the hormones, we mentioned, uh, oops, excuse me, we mentioned gonadotropin releasing hormone binds its receptor.